Texas Instruments integrates industrial Ethernet such as EtherCut slave controller onto ARM microprocessor. TI is first with the AM335X to integrate multi-protocol industrial communication with a powerful and scalable ARM microprocessor. With the implementation of a flexible interface based on programmable real-time unit, we also offer an open technology for customers to implement their own protocols. With 45 nanometer process technology, we allow customers to implement industrial communication and application with a power consumption of less than 500 milliwatts. So now let's have a look at the AM335X multi-protocol industrial communication device. So here is the Citara AM3359 microprocessor with the integrated industrial communication subsystem. The industrial communication subsystem has two PRUs, programmable real-time units, running at 200 megahertz. It's complemented by industrial Ethernet peripherals, which allows us to connect two industrial Ethernet files for 100 megabit. It has also industrial Ethernet timer to synchronize packets with the local clock. Very important to understand for industrial communication applications is a fast interconnect of 200 megahertz with the application processor. So the application processor also runs the stack software and leaves enough headroom to run applications such as HMIs, PLCs and motor control. There are more peripherals on the system like CAN interfaces, serial interfaces and a gigabit switch with two ports. In addition, there are motor control peripherals to drive directly motors and inverters with the AM335X. The EtherCAD slave implementation, uh, we see here the list of features. Uh, important to note here is we are register compatible with the ET1100 ASIC, which allows customers to reuse existing stack software. The performance is also identical with a very fast 360 nanoseconds MII to MII latency. Now here we, we have a complete automation system, a Citara AM3517 driving an HMI PLC, which is running real-time Linux, QT visualization and Codices PLC with an EtherCAD master. We talked to the AM335X on an industrial development kit which drives a stepper motor. We talked to an AM1810 which drives a servo motor where the PRU is implementing an N.2.2 interface over here. Additional module with the AM335X is taking position sensor and driving the lights. So here is the demo over and on this side. So basically we can have a, a shape on the screen and it's executed here on the dual axis driven with, with our boards, the AM3 517. Here is the AM3359 industrial development kit and here's the industrial communication engine with the AM3359. So now when I press the start button we see that this shape is executed by the dual axis motor control application. In addition to the industrial automation demonstration, we highlight today the industrial communication engine, which is a small module for evaluation and development purposes based on the AM3359 device. It features two Ethernet ports to implement real-time Ethernet protocols, such as EtherCard, PowerLink, and Profinet. The module also has serial interfaces like SPI, UART and CAN, so we can implement gateway functionality. There are sensor and digital I.O. interfaces so that we can do sensor applications uh, with this low and small form factor board. For additional information, please visit the TI website at www.ti.com automation. There you will find additional information and data sheets 
and thank you for your attendance at this year's shows and please welcome next year.